In 2020, I made a video about a game called Brink in which I absolutely dumped all over it and discussed how it failed to deliver on its hype. Basically, the game sucked mega ass. Quite a few people agreed with me and had a similar experience with the game being a huge dumpster fire, but I was absolutely shocked with the amount of comments that expressed their love and enjoyment of this game. And if I were them, I wouldn't even confess to liking this game on my deathbed, let alone in a YouTube comment section, but they got me thinking, am I wrong? Am I the one that is so out of touch that this game is secretly a masterpiece that I'm just too stupid and bad at gaming to understand? So I made it my mission to go in with a more more positive mindset for this game. I wanted to believe in the brink that these people believed in. And now I got some new things to say about this little underrated gem of a game. First off, I originally made a comment where I referred to the game as Stink instead of Brink, and I want to officially take that back. I now understand that this game is the pinnacle of first person class based shooters, and that it's a beautiful marriage of parkour and shooting, both of which are flawlessly executed. At first I thought this gunplay sucked, but now I understand that the weapons are super inaccurate and bad not only to give the player a chance to have meaningful gunplay, but also to truly feel like you're an untrained soldier fighting for your life. They reflect how bad things have gotten on the arc, I mean just look at me shooting this mounted machine gun. It doesn't hit anyone half the time because that would be way too easy and not fully give me the chance to show off my gaming skills with my sick aim. Another thing is that many of the guns are really similar to each other. There's an illusion of choice which I honestly really appreciate since I know us gamers tend to get overwhelmed sometimes. So realistically your gun options are down to four since there's only SMG, assault rifle, shotgun, and heavy machine gun. But Brink, oh my gosh, they really like to hide their own strength since secret option number five, the pistol, is truthfully the only gun you'll ever need. And this thing is a cannon hidden in the form of a sidearm. You're gonna be running out of ammo a lot, so this trusty thing, you're just gonna whip it out, bad boy, pop, 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 like a little cowboy. I also stand by what I said previously and that all the guns do actually sound pretty damn good. Some of the machine guns remind me of when my dad uses the paper shredder to dispose of junk mail, which is a nice metaphor for when you're shredding down the lower class trash of the art. Another thing I really like about this game is that when you're shooting enemies, it doesn't really feel like you're shooting enemies at all. It feels like you're shooting ghosts, which I think is a really fresh take in today's world where we're just surrounded by violence. I just like to imagine when I or the enemies or my friendlies go down that we're just taking nice little naps because that's surely what it looks like. Even the grenade explosions just look like little water balloons, like you're giving the enemy a little splash. I like to imagine the enemies are wearing suede and they don't want to get wet. Now we can't be talking about a brink without talking about parkour, or as the game likes to call it, the free freedom of movement system. And after playing for a little bit, I gotta tell you, this thing is a piece of genius. Whoever did it is probably a fucking millionaire right now because it's so easy and it's so mindless. You just hold shift and the game does everything for you. It'll climb, it'll jump, whatever you want. I definitely feel like such a badass when I just jump over like three pieces of waist high cover where I slowly pull myself up on a ledge. Oh, it's so quick, it's so snappy. I feel so light and free. I also like to play the light size character so I can just parkour places and shoot enemies from slightly different angles to throw them off and they, they truly never see it coming. I'm like a little jackrabbit just bouncing off walls back and forth. It doesn't really accomplish anything, but that doesn't matter because it makes me feel cool. And if parkour isn't your thing, however, you can just play the heavy sized character and not worry about ever jumping again for the rest of your life because you can just casually jog to whatever objective you need to and then stand still so you can focus on aiming with your heavy machine gun. It truly is a freedom of movement. Now back in its heyday, you would be playing this game online against some other poor souls that bought this game, not because it's bad or anything, but because once you truly appreciate this game like I do, it becomes quite addicting. But anyways, you'll likely just play with AI unless you have enough friends to fill out a lobby. No game has ever caused me to fear for my life in the future such as this one because the AI are just bordering on sentience. They are so good. Watching your team versus the enemy AI is truly a cinematic experience that I've yet to be seen matched anywhere. The back and forth between these two unstoppable forces is just truly a sight to behold since 
the AI are so unpredictable, they don't even know what they're going to do next. I also love when your teammates do the objectives. They do it super carefully and slow. And when they carry the intel, they try their best to do it safely no matter how much time it takes. And when defending something, they like to let enemies walk right up to the objective and then pounce on them as if it was a well thought out game of cat and mouse all along. Watch as my friendlies let this enemy walk right up next to me only to give him a false sense of confidence before expertly swinging the blade for the final blow. No human could ever perform such an expertly crafted plan. I do thoroughly enjoy the settings of this game. The themes of each map either boil down to Dumpster Trash Island or Abandoned Mall, and I am kind of biased towards Dumpster Trash Island since I really enjoy the various shades of brown they're able to incorporate on these maps. They also don't want to overwhelm you with too many parkour options, so they really just like to stick to the basics of slide underneath something. They love it so much the AI will just do it for the fun of it sometimes. Most of the fighting will take place only in a few square feet of the map, which I really appreciate since it lets you explore the rest of the place without the worry of being interrupted. Most of the objectives do really boil down to being the right class and holding down the F key long enough till you plant a bomb, repair a robot, or hack a mainframe. No complaining here though because I like to take that 30 seconds of doing nothing and just really reflect on how much fun I'm having. In some missions, all you do is defend a certain objective and you can win in a cool 15 minutes of holding the same spot the entire time. Also, your teammates like to let you do most of the legwork so you can feel like you're really contributing to the team. Now let me go over the classes real quick and I'm going to talk about them based on how the AI plays them because I assume they're playing them the correct way because they're so good. Okay, first off the medic. When you play the medic, your job is to run through crowds of enemies and just revive whoever is over there. Whether you die or not, whether you get them or not. If you just run through a bunch of enemies and throw one syringe to revive one guy that's going to die immediately, you did your job right. How you play the soldier is that you deliberately withhold ammo from your teammates to make them play more tactically. There were so many times I was low on ammo and next to a friendly soldier and they wouldn't give me any supplies and I respect that. They made me play a lot more carefully and think about how I'm using my munitions. The engineers will repair stuff when they feel like it and the operatives are just there for moral support. They'll take a couple bullets for you and distract enemies. What more could you really ask for? Now for my favorite part, the customization. Any game that allows me to look like the Joker is an A plus in my book. I could just play this game for hours and try to get my guys to look as cute as possible. You can change almost every piece of clothing along with your hairstyle and body type. And when you make your character, you can even give them tattoos that are permanent and you can't change later on. This part was so real for me because I definitely had the regret of giving my guy a face tattoo that I can never get rid of. And as you play and level up, you unlock more drip to wear, which is enough incentive for me to continually play the five missions over and over again, which I enjoyed, by the way, to unlock a full swagged out fit. Now, as you can tell by my raving review of this game, I thoroughly enjoyed this little underrated gem. Everybody in the comments was right. I was just being a big suck gamer baby. This is secretly a masterpiece, and I'm thankful that I had the pleasure of playing this again and that it was free. I think about that guy at GameStop that told me this game was bad, and I thank God every day that I just followed my instinct and bought this game and played it, because I would have missed out on such a wonderful experience. Okay guys, now it's time to wake up from your fucking dream because this game sucks still so bad. I gave it another chance. I listened to the guys in the comments. I said it was great and I was just playing it wrong. This game is just so... <laughs> It makes me want to cry, it's so bad. But underneath it all, I still had fun. I still had fun just watching the dumpster fire that this is. It's like a bad movie that I just can't look away from. It's that enjoyable. I specifically really enjoy the bots in this game. I like to imagine that they have a room locked up that's just full of babies that you load in with whenever you play this game and they control the characters. And I know this is kind of unfair because I'm not playing against real people, but you, you cannot find a match against real people. I, I looked, I tried, I could not find anything of all the lobbies were just empty but yeah that's what i think of this game that's enough bring for me if you like this video please subscribe thank you everybody have a nice day night wherever you are and i really appreciate that you watch this video so i really really thank you bye bye